What's up boys, MKTV here, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today lads, we do have the second episode of the Manchester United Rebuild. If you do enjoy, smash the thumbs up lads and subscribe. Uh, without further ado, let's get straight into things. So yes lads, we do have the first game of the season, uh, and that is the lineup we're going to be going with. Anthony, Ronaldo, Sancho, um, Fernandes and Nkunku is kind of box-to-box -box midfielders. Graven Birch is a DM, um, Tell is in left back, right back on Saka. Varane and Timber in the centre mids, uh, centre backs, and also De Gea. If you haven't seen the first episode, lads, I would advise go and check that out. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Uh, have a look at that and stuff first, and then get into this one. Uh, and yeah, this is the second one, lads. We're going to quick sing them because it's just going to make more sense. But uh, first game of the season against Leeds. Oh my good god, we've started terribly. Right, lads, we have lost the first game of the season. Um, we have got a Bruno Fernandez goal. Dallas scored as well, and Rafinha. So we did actually lose the first game of the season, lads, which is um, you know, yeah one of those ones but uh yeah that is not very good at all but uh we move on i suppose move to the second game yes 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 harry Maguire has decided well not decided but we've got an offer from okay i don't know about daily blind we have got an offer from um ajax for daily blind swap deal for harry Maguire. we're gonna accept it we don't want daily blind but we're gonna sell him on again and stuff when he comes to the club but uh that's big big news for the team lads southampton in a couple of days let's see what happens so lads, for the next game of the season, we have made some slight adjustments. We're going to bring in Kalulu. Actually, hold on. Kalulu doesn't really look um, good in right back. We're going to bring in Diogo Dallo. Uh, just because Juan Bissaka, I don't know, just uh, didn't really play as well as he could have. But uh, yeah, we'll bring in um, we'll bring in Dallo. That's the team we're going to play with. Timber, again, we're going to stick with him. Tell us there. Maybe looking at a left back option. Um, we'll see. Uh, Alvarez and Fred in the DM roles. Um, Sancho starting right mid. Rashford getting the start. And just we'll see how it goes and stuff, lads, obviously. Trying some new things out and stuff. Um, and now get into our second game of the season. What can we do? Can we actually start off and actually, you know, get something out of the game? Hopefully. A win would be nice. A 2-2 draw. I mean, it's not good, is it? But it's it's better than it was. Fernandez goal and Walcott, Jocelyn, and also another Fernandez goal. So not a bad one overall, but uh, you do expect to win those games. Next thing we're going to do, lads, we're just going to go through all the set-out development plans and stuff. Uh, just for everyone in the team and stuff that we do want, you know. Uh, and just kind of, you know, to make them a bit, kind of, you know, upgrade their, you know, all players that aren't playing and stuff as well. The likes of Mengi and stuff, they're out on loan. But uh, for the players that are in the club and stuff as well, to train properly, get them in the right positions and upgrade their potential. Next game is against Wolves. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to bring in Anthony. We're going to drop Sancho. Not drop him, but give him a rest. Take out Fred and all Alvarez. We'll bring in Gravenberch and McTominay. And we'll give um, Wamba Saka going right back as well. Just see how it goes. Uh, and hopefully pick up our first win of the season, which will be... Much needed at this point. It really would. Right. Against Wolves. Come on. Get him, boys. We've got our first win of the season. Ronaldo carrying the team again. Ansu Fadi came on at halftime. And Kunku uh, for McTominay. Kalulu came on for Tellez. Ronaldo, two goals, lads. And uh, Neves, obviously, as well. Decent match there. We take that, lads. Get in. First win of the season. The news you've all been waiting for, lads. <laughs> Harry Maguire has been sold, which is an absolutely huge dub. Uh, for 25 million, 2 AS Roma. Let's go, lads. He's gone out of the club, and we can start building. It currently is transfer deadline day, and there's one signing I do want to make, lads. We are going to go in for him. We're going to have a look at Darwin Nunes. I really would think we need a backup striker. Um, we might just take him on loan for now. Uh, please buy. Okay, we're going to try and look, buy him, uh, see how much we can get him for and stuff. Uh, and on transfer deadline day and stuff as well, you never know. We'll just pop up with something like that. I don't actually know how much he's going for, but we're going to offer 20 million to start with uh, and hope that that's enough. They want McTominay as well. Hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to get rid of McTominay. I think we'll propose twenty-five million and see what they say to that. Again, I could be, you know, could be a stupid offer or whatever. But twenty-five million, I think, for a backup striker, as in Nunes. I think, yeah, perfect. Twenty-seven and a half million pounds, lads, for Nunes, and uh, we're going to try and bring him in as a backup striker for Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, again, probably retiring within the next two or three seasons, so he could be there, you know, developing as well while we, you know. Give him a run out in the cup and stuff like that as well. But yeah, we'll try and bring him in, see what he's going as. Uh, he'll be a rotation for now, probably. Um, and then four-year contract, perfect. And again, this is another, you know, realistic um, signing in real life as well and stuff. So you never really know. Wage, perfect. We just accept it. That's perfectly fine. And we've got Darwin Nunes, lads, into the club as well. Manchester United have signed Darwin Nunes. That's where we're going to leave it at that for the um, transfers and stuff. That's going to be enough. Um, and yeah, see any more that does happen and stuff as well. So we'll see. 
So yes, lads, finishing off the first transfer window and stuff, we did bring in Darwin Nunes, we sold Maguire, sold Lingard, sold Cavani, uh, brought in Graven Birch, we sold, bought Kalulu as well, brought him in, sold Jones to Needs United, and we got Pogba out and brought in Ansu Fati for us. We bought Jurian Timber, we bought Alvarez, we bought Anthony, we sold Derek Bailly, and we brought in Nkunku, we sold Dean Henderson, we sold Matic, we sold Shaw. We've actually got rid of a lot of, a lot of stuff in the club. Maybe the likes of Juan Mata and stuff still around the club is a bit of an issue, but nonetheless, we did get rid of a lot of things and we did some bring in some interesting players, lads. Let's see how far we can get this season. Next match of the season is against Newcastle United, lads. Uh, and basically, what we're going to be trying to do is we're going to change around the team a little bit more, just see what everyone's you know doing and stuff and try and bring out our strongest team. McTominay played well the last day. We're going to bring back in Fred, see what he can do. Um, and yeah, we're kind of, I think we're just going to stick with that, to be honest. It looks very, very decent. Fred and Gravenberch is kind of what I prefer in midfield. Uh, and yeah, we're just going to go with that, see we, can we get a result out of Newcastle. Uh, obviously, in real life, it was 4-1 or whatever, but this is the next season, so forget about that. This is what we're saying. Uh, and what can we do here? Eric Ten Hag, can we get our second win of the season? Come on, quick sim the match, see what happens. Can we win it? And we do, 3-2 win there. Bruno Fernandes, hat-trick, is it? Oh, Ronaldo got one. Trippier got one. Um, Ronaldo missed a penalty as well, apparently. Um, and Kunku came on and stuff as well. Um, Fernandez scored. Trippier got a second. And Bruno Fernandez won it for us as well. 3-2 win, lads. Second win of the season. Let's go. The UEFA Champions League, lads. Um, again, maybe not next season. We might have this or whatever. But for the time being, for this career mode, lads, in the first season anyways, we are going to have the Champions League. Which is... Um, you know, we're expected to have that over the next few seasons, Man United or whatever. And yeah, let's see, lads. Can we actually, you know, win our first game of the Champions League? So yes, lads, first game of the Champions League. This is the team we're going to be going with. Rashford and Sancho in the team as well. Timber's still in there, lads. Um, and yeah, we made a change as well. We did bring in Alvarez for Gravenberch. And then we might switch it around the next game. Because we have a game in a few days' time against West Ham. So, um, you know, we could use different players we have and stuff as well. So right, quick sim this match, lads. What are we saying to this game? Come on, please. First win in the Champions League. And we do go ahead and win it. Alvarez gets his first goal for the club. You love to see it, lads. Come on. Rashford came off injured, did he? Not a very good sight, but uh, obviously it is what it is. Um, but yeah, we win our first game in the Champions League, lads. 1-0. Kept a clean sheet. Brilliant from the defence. Uh, and moving back into the Premier League as well and stuff. Love to see it. What changes are we going to make as well for the next day? Keep players fresh and stuff. Um, but Marcus Rashford is injured, which kind of is a bit of a worry. Um, we're just going to have a quick look at that. Please don't be injured for long. Come on, please, Marcus. Three months. A broken rib and he's out for three months, lads. Not very good to see. We also have these daily are these scout things. I'll take a look at them myself. Um, but yeah, that's not a very good sight to see. Marcus Rashford is unfortunately injured. Um, and yeah, that is not very good, lads, is it? Right, lads, with Marcus Rashford out, we're going to bring back in Anthony. We're going to drop, or not drop him, but we're going to give Bruno Fernandes a rest. We're going to bring in Kunku. We're going to give Van de Beek his first start of the season. We're going to bring in Kalulu for his first start of the season. Bring back in Scott McTominay, keep things fresh. And can we get our... For our fifth game of the season. Uh, can we make it unbeaten in our last four games? That would be nice. Quick sim against West Ham. Away from home. What are we saying, lads? We do win it. Let's go and Kunku with the goal as well, lads. That's a big, big win there. Massive, massive win for the club. Uh, and that actually could take us up to fifth or something. We'll have a quick look. But uh, that looks very, very decent. We do love to see that. What are we saying? Where is that in the table now? If it ever shows me. Uh, oh, we're into the cup now and stuff. Right. We'll have a quick look, though, at standing. See where we are in that. Um, and yeah, not too bad at all there, if it ever decides to load. Um, but yeah, we'll see where we are in the pick competition, Premier League. We could have gone up to fifth or something, a fourth, even better. Leeds United top of the Premier League, don't know what's happening there, lads. Some, you can tell it's a game. Um, but we are 10th, we're level on points with Chelsea, Liverpool um, and Aston Villa. So we're joined second place, which is very, very decent, lads, after our first five games of the season. Let's get straight into the next game. So yes, lads, for the cup game against... Um, against Tottenham we have decided we're going to change the team around a lot because it's just no point you know making players you know drained or whatever and stuff for the match so we're going to bring in Nunes, Mata, Alanga, Fati, McTominay is going to stay in there, Alvarez, Kaluda is going to play in centre back, Alex Tellez does need a rest but we're looking at left backs, um, Will Fish um, gets his first start as well which is very interesting, it is against Tottenham we're not too pushed if we get out of this um, but, you know we're just going to quick sim the match and stuff see what happens uh, it's a rotated team if we win we win if we don't we don't not doesn't matter too much and we did get bet 3-1 which is a big big loss there but uh hey Nunes got his first goal and stuff as well we're not too pushed about that it doesn't really matter too much um we probably when I look at it now probably should have played a better team but hey it is what it is we needed to rotate around and stuff we're focusing on the Premier League and stuff um and yeah moving on to Villa 
So yes, lads, getting into Villa at home. Um, we do have Van der Beek still on the team, McTominay still on the team. We're even Kunku. Actually, that's one mistake I did mean, mean to um, bring back in Bruno Fernandes. Um, bring in Fernandes because he's been on fire this season. And yeah, we're just going to go with that, lads. We've Van der Beek back in the team. McTominay's playing well and stuff. Might as well keep it playing well. I did make a big mistake in the cup. I do accept that or whatever. We could have, you know, had a good run in the cup. But uh, we did lose to Spurs, which is a bit annoying. But uh, we're going to sim this match. Can we beat Aston Villa at home, which would be a massive, massive win? It's a 1-1 draw. Coutinho, McTominay scores as well. Scooby, do uh, you love to see that? Not too bad at all. Kalulu, Alex Tellers is getting really, really tired and stuff, which is not very good. But uh, a 1-1 draw against Aston Villa isn't the end of the world. It is decent, I suppose. We could we take it, I guess. Um, and yeah, how many games is that in? Back to the Champions League, lads. Back to the Champions League. So yes, lads, getting into the Champions League match. This probably will be the last match of the video. Um, but yeah, can we get a win? We can't. We unfortunately lose. Ronaldo got a goal soon. Uh, Piscina scored and who else scored? Muriel scored as well. So not too bad, I suppose. We did lose that, but uh, it is a bit annoying. But we moved back into Premier League and stuff as well. We're sitting nicely. We're on a win. You know, one win, one loss. Not too bad. Uh, and then we are currently fourth in the Premier League with 11 points. Six games in, lads. Um, that is where we're going to end today's video. Thank you very much for watching uh, the second episode of the United Rebuild. Um, and yeah, lads, hopefully you did enjoy and stuff as well. A lot of players getting chances there and stuff. Knocked out of the cup, that is a big thing. But uh, we're to go on in the Premier League and stuff as well. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new around here, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. Any more future videos and stuff, lads, leave them in the comment section down below. If you want to join the Discord, all that down there. And if you missed any episodes, lads, I'll leave them linked in the comment section down below. Or the description down below as well. Thank you so much for watching, lads. I'll catch you boys next time with another video. Peace.